up, Pisces. You are last and definitely not least. Welcome to your December reading for this current year. Yay! Pisces, this is for a sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You know, just boop your nose and away it goes. There's no reason to linger on shit that has nothing to do with you, right? Right. Cross watchers, switch where you need to because I have no idea what the hell's going on. And if you do not appreciate my language because I do like F bombs, I might not be the terror reader for you. So find somebody who makes you more comfortable. Because if you stick around here, you're going to get your feelings hurt a lot more than mine will. I promise. Newcomers, you want a personal read? All the information is in the description box below after my music listing. First readings on the house. Everything else comes with the price. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Pisces, you're reading for a message. It doesn't seem like it's coming. Or at least that's your energy. It's just like, what am I supposed to do? But in the situation, you're feeling good about yourself. Young Empress, Nine of Pentacles, right? You know who you are. However, in the wants and wishes, we got a Queen of Swords here. She's bitter. She's mad. She's a scorned woman. And she might cut your head off, right? We're in this obstacle and challenge below is ending things right here now we have all uh, we the fears of rejection is king of wands we have libra gemini aquarius wait yeah and leo sag aries right here so far feeling like someone's in control of some shit and how this shit starts how it'll end feeling tortured stuck in a box beginning theme is you feel like you're left out of the cold and you want to come back in oh dear okay i don't i'm, I'm just uh, I, I like capricorn's reading fucked me up pretty bad because like you know i was not expecting myself to show up so clearly also so yeah i'm having an issue with the pisces I actually thought that they were an Aries, and then I found that they were a Pisces, and it was just like, oh, feces, my African American, you know? It just fucked me up just a little bit. But that's like my background. Nothing too bad, though, I promise. All right, Pisces, there's a relationship here that you're waiting on a message on. You're definitely into, but it feels like trying to escape it, it's just not going to work in your favor. In your situation down below, where you're feeling good about yourself, the Empress. Fate is turning her wheel. And causing you not to want to be idolizing somebody anymore. There's somebody here who you were connected to previous. What is this? This is like an old relationship, okay? First of all. But now it's like the wheel is turning and it's like... Almost like you're getting independent from them. Huh, that's weird. It's Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, right? She's a scorned woman. She's already got blood on her sword. Uh, there might be secrets here that she's cutting people out of to go through. And like that, in those secrets, she's got to like actually face the devil and deal with some shit, right? But this is a wants and wish, so what the fuck? Um, it's got something to do with you because that's your card. We got Capricorn, we got Leo. Leo's over here as well. Not sure exactly how. Okay, I'm dropping one more on that because I'm kind of confused. And this is emotional turmoil? What? Who are you dealing with, Pisces and Crosswatcher? Who are you dealing with? What is this? I'm slightly confused because this wasn't what this isn't what I was expecting. Hi, kitten. Did you just wake up? Yes, you did. You haven't been here this entire fucking time, and I was worried about you. You know. That's right. You rub your face on that door. You show mom how good you can make it. It's, it's a good kitten. Sorry, she just like woke up, so she's coming to get lovin's. You still have food in your bowl, too, but I'll fill it up just so you hear it, okay? Okay. It's my good baby. Yeah, chase that stink bug. That's what you're here for. You're not doing your job, lady. <laughs> Alright, obstacle and challenge. Ending things. Uh, my naked emperor's really fucking pissed, right? But at the same time, it's like... 
somebody, I guess it was a private provider or whatever, like they're letting stuff rot. They're letting it go away. It could be her. But it's like, there's a lack of investment. She'd rather just fuck around than actually, like, you know, uh, do something to actually provide, you know, because that's what the king of pentacles is. It's like this person could be lying, saying, oh, I'm taking care of shit or whatever. And then, like, you come home and all the food's rotten. Be like, how long has this been in the fridge? Oh, just a couple months. It's still good. They're fucking apples, baby. We can plant them and make some more. That takes fucking years, bitch. You know, like, something like that. It's like you're not happy and you're tired of their shit. What, kitten? I gotta do my cards. I can't pet you the entire time, baby. You you only do this when I'm doing the cards. I know. You're wanting the attention. Alright, King of Wands up here. Fears and rejections. Do they leave you unhappy, Pisces and Crosswatcher? Like, they're all busy, like, being into themselves, looking good, looking like they're awesome, but in reality, it's like, they really don't like themselves? This is, like, really, okay, Pisces, yours is always confusing to me, but this is, like, especially. And it's like, they need to come out of whatever the fuck it is they're in in order to f see things for what they are. Either that or this person hasn't been happy, but they've been putting on a show, and you're just now seeing what actually is. Or they're recognizing they're not happy on their own. This could be you, too. You could be, like, the King of Wands right here, trying to, like, maintain a persona. Because, Pisces, you're the, you're the sign who plays all the signs. You can, like, blend yourself with anybody. Like, you can act like a Virgo. You can act like a Taurus. You can act like a... Uh, uh, fucking Leo for sure. Like you, like you guys are the role players of the Zodiac. You're very last, so you know exactly how everything goes down. And it's like if you're playing a role, okay. But is this person playing a role on you too? And it just starts how it'll end. This torturous feel with the Ten of Swords. Someone else got. Here's a love here. A connection. Is it, like, something really fucking old? Like, a, like, because this is, like, a childhood kind of thing, you know? It's, like, you know, uh, the Hierophant, morality, um, ethics, loyalty, consistency, you know, Taurus's energy, right? But it's, like, it's based on youth. It's based on childhood. It's based on that shit, right? Oh, shit. Someone's taking some passion and action. In order to come back in from the cold. You know, still having those feelings, but you're feeling a bit abandoned. What the fuck, dude? What is going on, Pisces? I don't understand. I'm kind of, I, I like, you guys always confuse me. I don't mean to be confused. You guys know more about what I'm, what, what I'm talking about than I ever will. Because you guys are just your own people. You know, I can't read your minds. Literally cannot. Like, I never know what you guys are thinking. Um, well, this is like, this has been, this is like a really old relationship or some shit. Yeah. What? Are, like, are you trying to walk away from it impulsively? And they're just looking at you like, where are you going? And you're just like, I'm going to the store to get cigarettes. I'll be right back. You don't come back for 20 fucking years. <laughs> you come back when the kid's Will Smith, rich and famous. <laughs> you're leaving to take a leap of faith? What's that about? situation where you're feeling good about yourself some stuff did not go the way you planned that it would or some shit you get three on this one truth's getting ready to fly and you're drinking your cup up for a big ass ride replenishing yourself so self-care huh wants and wishes up top tower moment and it struck again is like something happened before but now it's happening again. Because, like, the tower's already been hit. These people are already dead. And now the building's gonna just fall on top of them so no one can find the bodies. Be like, this never fucking happened. You know, this is like lightning striking the same place twice. It's like you already learned the lesson the first time and now you're about to learn it again. And you see it fucking coming. That's your card, Pisces. I'm dropping one more. 
And you gotta let go of it. You got you gotta let go. Death's here. Like, hey, I, I got your message. You, you wanted me to come over? Yeah, look. These are really important to me. I'm sentimental about them. Don't fuck them up. Dude, I'm death. It, it, like, you're gonna get fucked up regardless. I, I said to be gentle. You know. Hmm. Let's see. Obstacles and challenges. <clears throat> You want to end a third-party situation or get rid of an addiction or something. Because you no longer want to make your home on these rounds. You're just like, you know, I'm going to get back on the boat. Here's your sword. Pa -pa. There you go. Bye. Hmm. Just burying stuff. All right. So, fears and rejections, dear Pisces. You are at a crossroads and someone's helping you with that crossroads? Uh, like, that is your card, but there's somebody else here. But it's like... What they give you, you have to... Like, th like this Ace of Pentacles is so weird. It's like, not... It's like, you could take this offer, but you're gonna have to, like, work on some shit to get rid of all the bugs and stuff. It's like you get a computer, and it's full of viruses and shit, and it's just like, oh, man, well, I paid, like, a thousand dollars for this. I might as well invest some more. Like, it's a good computer. It's an Asus or an Alienware at that, but it's got germs and shit all over it, so you gotta put some money in to fix it before you can even use it, right? setup that could be a setup that that like you're at a crossroads where like someone might be giving you some bait and then you realize oh this was a trap okay this was a trap someone set me up mm. let's see how this shit starts how it'll end Whatever this relationship was, like, Pisces, either you, Crosswatch, or could be you, or someone completely different is just dragging your ass through the fire or being like, you know, we don't have any food, so we gotta sacrifice you. You're a good kid, but we got, like, two more. But bice You know, just, like, doing some crazy shit right here. Like, sacrificing. Unjustly. Just to end the temptation. To get out of a bad situation where someone keeps tempting you into bad shit. Damn, Pisces. Like, I don't understand a fucking word I just said, but, like, you guys will. You guys always do. So, I have no problems with this. I'm just really fucking confused. <laughs> so, Pisces, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, no pressure, of course. I don't know how, what I'm gonna title this shit. I guess, I don't know, I guess out with the old, in with the new or something. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just name it the Emperor's Old Fucking Clothes. That's what I'll name it. That makes more sense. Anyway, I love your guys' faces. I hope you guys take it easy and I will see you later. Bye-bye.